Excuse me? I said, staring down at him. He blushed. I think this is where Miss Walker told me to sit. He glanced around nervously. I saw an empty spot at the table behind mine. She probably meant over there, I said, pointing. I've been in this seat all year, next to Zeke. I motioned to Zeke's chair. Zeke wasn't there. He was late, as usual. The boy blushed even darker. Sorry, he muttered shyly. I hate being the new kid. He started to gather his books all together. Is this your first day? I asked. I introduced myself. I'm Brian Colson, he replied, climbing to his feet. My family just moved here, uh, just moved to Woodmills from Indiana. I said I'd never been to Indiana. It was a boring thing to say, but it was true. You're Brooke Rogers? He asked, studying me. I heard you got the starring role in the play. How did you hear that already? I demanded. Some kids were talking about it on the bus. You must be a good actress, huh? He handed shyly. I guess I, I don't know. Sometimes I get pretty bad stage fright, I told him. I don't know why I told him all that. Sometimes I just rattle on. I guess that's why my parents call me Babbling Brook. Brian smiled shyly inside. <sighs> Back in my old school in Indiana, I was in all the plays, he told me, but I never had the lead role. I wish I had moved here sooner. Then I could have tried out for the Phantom. I tried to picture Brian on stage in a play, but I couldn't. He didn't seem like the acting type to me. He seemed so shy and he kept blushing all the time. But I decided to give the poor guy a break. Brian, why don't you come to rehearsal with me this afternoon? I suggested. Maybe you can get a small part or something. Brian smiled as if I had just offered him a million dollars. You mean it? He asked, wide-eyed. Sure, I replied. No big deal. Zeke came slinking into his seat, his eyes on Miss Walker's desk. Am I late? He whispered. I shook my head, and then I started to introduce him to Brian. But Miss Walker stepped into the room and closed the door. Time for class to begin. Brian hurried to his place at the other table. I started to sit down, but realized I'd left my science notebook in my locker. Be right back, I called to Miss Walker. I hurried out the door and jogged around the corner to my locker. Hey! To my surprise, the locker door stood half open. That's weird, I thought. I remembered locking it. I pulled the door open the rest of the way. Started to reach inside for my notebook and let out a startled gasp. Someone was in there and he was staring right at me.